Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Brian Pfeiffer, AKA The Marketing Meathead. And today we are gonna go ahead and do the beginning stages of a campaign setup. And I uh, don't wanna make this too long. I wanna be able to, you guys, to follow along and then go ahead and do this on your own. So tomorrow when we actually launch a campaign, you're ready to go. All right, so first things first, uh, you know, what are you guys, what are we running? We are going to run mortgage, okay? So we're going to take a, uh, a mortgage campaign, uh, payout on this particular campaign is about $45, and we're going to run it on Facebook. So in order to set up on Facebook, you need to have a fan page, and then the fan page, you know, has to be somewhat related to the, uh, you know, to the, to the offer, and then uh, you're also going to need a uh, WordPress blog and um, you're going to need a um, obviously a Facebook account and ad account and whatnot so um, we're using a um, an affiliate network for our uh, offer um, basically you go in and you um, click, talk to your affiliate manager get approved on the offer so here's the offers let's take a look here we're gonna get approved on mortgage and here it is harp $45 approved. All right, so we click on that. That takes us to our uh, creatives, and this is the get link. And this is going to be a lead. So we're going to copy that. And that's done. And you're going to click on that, and that is going to be your click of your actual offer. So if someone clicks on this and fills this out, it's a $45 payout. Okay. So um, I'm looking here at the actual offer and I'm seeing harp, okay? So in order to be congruent with um, you know the fan page, we can maybe throw a harp logo or something along those lines on there. So um, yeah, let's do that. Let's get, uh, let's get started here with a, um, first thing you kind of need is like a header image for your, um, for, your, uh, for your fan page. So I like to start with uh, Canva and Canva, Canva.com is a nice place if you're not Photoshop literate like myself. I'm learning Photoshop, but I'm not quite there yet. So what I did is basically I just, you know, I started with Google, looked for some images of homes. Obviously, we're, we're going to be doing a home refi. That's our, that's our vertical here. So let's do home images, and then you click on that, and then you go here to images. And uh, there's a thing here that says tools, and you want to go to um, uh, usage rights, okay? So labeled for reuse, okay? Um, you know, you don't want to get in any trouble. Um, I actually picked this image here, okay? I like this one. I thought it was pretty good, nice, new-looking home, um, clean, you know, kind of, you know, average average house here. Uh, so make sure you do that. Labeled for reusage. Um, reuse with modification is also one you can use. But uh, I like to use label for reuse, okay? And that way you stay in the, uh, the safe stuff. You don't have to worry about having a potential lawsuit or something coming down the road. All right, so once we got the images, uh, well, let's also do uh, harp. So do harp logo, home refi logo. Let's see what that comes up with. All right, so we're going to do the same thing, labeled for reuse. Okay, let's see what we got here. Oops, let me click on that. Um, I don't really see anything too good. I mean, this is this is just a logo, and we're actually pushing their offer. So, let's see if we get any better ones. Yeah, here's one that's better. Um, okay, so what I ultimately did is I ended up uh, picking one of these. Let's see, there it was, this one. Okay, and if you look at this checker background, that means it's transparent, so it's going to look better on top of an image. So I save that. I picked that one, and then. Uh, what else did I uh, do? Uh, I found a logo was a cash. Let's see here. I was looking for something else to maybe make my image look a little more fun. And I just did a... Um, oh, you know what? That, that was in Canva. Okay, so I'll show you what I got, guys did here. Okay, so basically you, you create a new design. Um, pretty simple canvas is pretty cool um, and we're gonna do a Facebook uh, header basically it wasn't this should work though for what we're trying to do 
Um, I already uploaded these images, so let's go to um, elements and we're gonna do actually uploads here. All right, so let's go to the upload. I already uploaded that home picture here, guys. So, and then in order to stretch it out over the canvas, make it look nice, I want it like this. Okay, so it, now it's the full canvas. And then I just went ahead and uh, did this elements click here. And there's one that's called, uh, let's see which one was it here? It was icons, I think. Yeah, icons. Um, yeah. Illustrations. You can go around and play with all kinds of stuff in here, guys. This is, you know, pretty simple <clears throat> stuff. So I think it was down here. Let's see where we found this. Basically, it was a, a like. And it wasn't under here. Maybe it was under illustration. Oh, you know what it was? It was under icons. Let's click on that. There we go. Let's look at here. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was here. So I scrolled down. I was just playing around trying to find something that was like kind of cool. That we could use on this image. And where was it? I don't use Canva all that much, but I've used it enough to kind of know. So it was kind of like a like button here. I might wherever it went. I thought it was in here. It's definitely in one of these. I thought it was right around the Facebook. It's back out of there. And that one's actually not bad either for what we're trying to do. Um, camera. Illustrations, frames, let's see what this one was. It's just all kinds of different frames. So, you know, play around with this, obviously, guys. You can find all kinds of cool stuff in here. Um, free photos, whatnot. There's all kinds of different stuff in Canva. <clears throat> if you haven't used Canva before, it's free. <clears throat> I think there's like a paid version that's a little bit, has a lot more stuff in it, but. Uh, for what we're trying to do today and, and pretty much what you really need anything to to be creative here all you need is the uh the free version so anyway well let's go back to uh you know my files here and i'll show you guys uh, what i did let's see search photos actually file Try to find here where I went. Had my original. File here. Let's go back to just the main header here. Okay. Here's my designs. Okay, here's the one I did. I don't I can't remember where I found this um, thing here, but it was in one of these uh one of these elements, I believe. I found this this little thumbs up. So so basically I took that harp logo, um, that was a um, you know, just a basically a upload and I uploaded it. You can see it was transparent, so you can you can move it around or whatever. But I put it right here, then I put this, and then I was able to edit this cash out refinancing and I or with whatever it said, I edited it that <clears throat> and it's just like a harp and a thumbs up kinda everyone knows to like and you know, cash out refinance. So, you know, I thought it was pretty cool, nice looking house. So um, let's see how that's going to look in a, in a fan page. So I went ahead and saved that, and um, I have that image saved. So now we're going to go over and we're going to create a uh, fan page in Facebook. It's real simple. Just log into any Facebook uh, that you have, and uh, just go over here to drop down here. It says create uh, page. Real simple. And we're going to do a, um, you can pretty much pick anything here, but uh, let's do this one. Uh, choose a category. Let's do uh, we'll call it non profit. I guess we could call it non profit. Sounds pretty good, actually. I think that'll be okay. And we're going to call this um, budget. 
Finance. Finance Corp. Okay, and I'll, I'll explain why I'm going to call it that in a little bit. Okay, so we're going to get started. And <clears throat> let's see, add your profile picture. What we want to do with the profile picture is um, we want to have a the best conversions usually come from a, a girl looking up at the actual logo on the Facebook page. So let's see if we can find a um, girl looking up image. Okay, let's take a look here. See, a lot of these are stock photos, so we're going to have to obviously. Let's take a look here. This one's actually not too bad. It looks like it's got some logos and whatnot. Let's see if we've got tools, usage, label for reuse here. Let's see if we just get lucky and find something that looks pretty good. Uh, our avatar, <coughs> what that is, is a. <clears throat> an avatar is basically our target market who we're going after so uh, females is good um, preferably females convert a little bit better on Facebook than males so if we can find something with a female um, the demographic we're going after is probably going to be 45 to 55 and then 55 to 65 so if we could find something um, around that um, let me try this Let's see what that does maybe Girl is maybe a younger word here, so uh, this one's actually not half bad. So let's uh, let's save this. Okay, and I'll show you what that looks like here. This is going to be okay. We'll save that. Okay, all right. So we're going to go to Facebook here, we're going to upload a profile picture, and we're going to do this. Okay, now you'll see, upload a cover, uh, we already made that, that was going to be the cash out of refi. Okay, and let's see what this looks like. Okay, so now we have a girl with, where you can see the whites of her eyes looking up. Now when this ad runs, you're actually going to see this as the avatar, and the avatar is actually going to look up at the title. So psychologically, people see this avatar, you know, this girl looking up at the title, and it catches their eye. So what she's looking up at, it's going to say Budget Refinance Club, okay? So we're not going to invite friends, so just X out of that, X out of that. All right, so let's see how this looks. So it's a girl looking up. Um, she's going to be looking up at Budget Refinance Club on the ad, and then she's got this... Um, Home, uh, affordable pricing, cash refinance. This looks pretty good. I mean, this is what the page is going to look like if someone lands on there. Now, the first thing you want to do is you want to populate this page. So, um, basically, just anything that has to do with uh, home refi, home refi news. So, just go to like home refinance news, and then there's a see if there's some stuff that comes up here. Um, Something like this. Let's see what this looks like. Is now right time to finance. So this looks uh, pretty legit. We can easily just take this and um, just basically copy that and uh, do a post to the fan page. So let's see. We do. All right. I do. I can actually like that. All right. And. Uh, so we're going to go down here to write something um, and just put in is now a great time to refine and then, put, and then you just basically place the URL that you just found and it's going to pull a picture. Let's see what it pulls up. Didn't really pull up a picture. Uh, we could probably put an image here. Let's see if uh, we got anything that's good. Some pictures. And this one might not be good. It might be alright. Let's see what this looks like. Just picked a random picture. It says that it's got some dollar bills. That's okay. Okay, so here's a post. Let's see what that looks like. 
and you're going to want to do this about five or six times okay you're going to want to get at least five or six looking posts up there and it looks fine it's now a great time to refi and then this picture of debt is now a great time to refinance and that's just going to go to this this article that we just googled which is you know whatever i mean you basically just need to make this page look legit you're running ads from this page so if someone were to click over to this page you know have it related over to um the mortgage you know mortgage industry of some sort and as long as the images are as long as you have five six seven posts in there you're going to start getting some likes when you start running ads so um you know that that's setting up a uh, a fan page so um really really that's it i mean it, it's is that simple to set up a fan page you know pulling some images from google you know look for the stuff that is uh usage rights um labeled for reuse I, i'd suggest and um you know that that was it i mean we got the fan page now so um i think that's enough for you guys to get started today tomorrow we're actually going to do a campaign setup i'll uh, i'll set up a full campaign uh, in facebook uh, but you're going to need a fan page um oh yeah you're going to want to you're going to want to set up a, a a blog too so that could be a little bit trickier uh, I'm gonna make it really easy for you guys I'm gonna include a link below for um, Bluehost go to Bluehost on my link uh, it is an affiliate link well full disclosure I actually do get uh, paid if you guys click on that link and do sign up for Bluehost it's very inexpensive but they have um, one-click uh, one-click uh, uh, WordPress so basically you can just set up WordPress super easy um, I believe you can get a, a domain there. Let's actually go to this uh, link here and let's take a look. All right, let's see. And uh, let's see if we can. Uh, I got a Bluehost link here. Okay, let's click on it and see what it looks like. Copy. And here's my affiliate link. And I believe you can buy a domain and everything here. It might be just hosting. Um, get started now. Three ninety five a month, guys. So come on, three ninety five. You can you can spend that. It's got the one click WordPress install, um, twenty four uh, seven support. Looks pretty easy. So you're gonna want to do that. And then uh, I do all my domains on GoDaddy. So you're gonna want to find a domain um, as well. And um, I'll, I'll include a link for GoDaddy down below as well, uh, an affiliate link and if you guys book a uh, or get a domain here's how you guys should do your domains uh let's let's take a quick look at that so you know guys don't get confused synonyms i go to i always start with synonyms okay um you want to make people think in this particular campaign that they're getting like you know that you're some kind of a, a third party agency that's helping people save money okay so um one of our website is actually called budget buddy club okay you could actually use a synonym for budget, okay? And uh, let's see, D-G-E-T, budget. What do we got? So budget, we got, um, you know, I don't see any ones that I'm too excited about here. Um, cost, cost is okay. So um, consumer is another one. Consumer, so uh, consumer, so shopper. So I like um, cost shopper club of something like that would be okay. So then you go over to GoDaddy um, with the link below and you just start looking for uh, domains that are available. I mean, this doesn't have to be like, you know, well, this is wrong. Go, <laughs> go Daddy, Daddy. I could type today. I'm not the best typer, guys. I will not lie. <laughs> All right, so this is, you know, when you sign in or whatever, you have an account. If you don't have an account, you're going to just sign up for an account. But this is where you can check, check, check for different names, okay, for your, your site. So real simple, you're going to need a, um, a domain, um, Consumer Buddy Club um, might be a good one. Let's see if that's available. Consumer Buddy Club. Uh, we're budget buddy club uh, that's available so there you go guys there's one for you right there that'll work just fine um, so you got consumer uh, buddy club and then a couple other things you're going to want to do uh, before the next um, before the next uh, session tomorrow is you're going to want to get uh, get a domain get your hosting in one click you're going to want to get a wordpress theme so um, you can go to google and you can do free wordpress themes 
Um, there's there's ones that are a little bit better than others. Obviously, if you if you find um, I, I particularly like Theme Forest. Theme Forest is usually pretty good, and you can actually get pretty good themes here for pretty inexpensive. Um, there's one I like that works really well. It's called a uh, newspaper, I believe, was the theme. Newspaper and WordPress. Here we go. And um, yeah, let's see what this. That's 59 bucks, 39 bucks, so 23 bucks. Not bad. You can find something here for around 20 bucks, guys. Okay. Uh, 23 bucks. Let's see what this one looks like. This will probably be just fine. Uh, let's do a live preview. Yeah, let's see what this looks like. And I don't want to see that. Uh, video. Demos. Okay. So basically, it looks like it's just a blog, which is okay. That's all we need. Okay. See what this looks like. Yeah. So you got some menu here. You got. Uh, now keep in mind, guys. This you're you're gonna build this out and you're gonna fill this with content just off your random posts off Google. Okay. You're not worried about building the site out for SEO reasons. It's strictly to have one post buried in there for your advertising. Okay. So um, pretty simple. Ours is a uh, budget buddy club. All right. Budget buddy club. Budget. Here. We're actually moving this over to a VPS, so hopefully it's up here. Uh, it's not showing that it's up. Let's see if I can get it on incognito. Let's take a look here, guys. Incognito. It's actually being moved to a faster server as we speak. Yeah, here it is. Okay, this is real simple. It's just a simple, like, um, you know, blog. We're actually missing a few things because we're, we're moving it over right now until the files are, are acting up. But basically, you just click on it and you're going to have blog posts. It's, it's super simple. Okay, so, um, you know, if, you, if you're pressed for time and you don't have a lot of time to set this up, um, I would go ahead and um, go to a couple different websites to find someone to do this for you for dirt cheap. Um, my favorite is Upwork, um, upwork.com. Just go here and uh, you can post a job okay you see i already have an account here and uh, you, you post a job and uh, you just tell them that you want to build a build out a wordpress blog and it's it's super easy so so basically you know you're gonna need a fan page which i just showed you how to set up i'm um, gonna go to bluehost below and you're gonna go to godaddy below and you're gonna get a domain for godaddy um, just like i showed you guys use synonyms and stuff and find something along those lines um, that, that one I showed you guys was available if you guys want to buy that consumer buddy club super easy and then uh, you're going to do your WordPress install and then you're going to upload a theme to your WordPress all this stuff is super easy to do and you can go on YouTube and just Google uploading a theme to WordPress if you can't figure it out but it's really not hard so you know I, I, this isn't a this isn't going to be a demonstration for you know how to set up a WordPress blog I'm not a WordPress expert but I know how to do that at least um, and I know how to go in and edit a blog and stuff. It's, it's not hard. You can find all this stuff on YouTube and it's just quick a quick YouTube search and it's right there. Okay. And then so you're gonna uh, then you're gonna basically populate your blog. So you have like um, like I just showed you guys, you're gonna have some content. Go find stuff related to you know saving money, coupons, um, refi, go find some stuff uh, related to you know uh, political stuff if you want to have a like a political tab but basically you need to fill up your blog to make it look like it's a real website none of this stuff matters it's not going to be for seo it's strictly to bury a page in there so that when we send traffic to that page if someone clicks around on your site it looks like a real website that's actually like trying to help people you know like save money okay that's the whole idea okay so that that's uh that's the uh, lesson for today um, go ahead and set up your Facebook fan page. Use Canva to make yourself a nice cover. Populate it with um, you know five or six or seven posts um, or more if you guys want. Uh, go to Bluehost. Get your uh, you know your your hosting for three ninety five a month. Do your one click WordPress install. Go to GoDaddy. Get your uh, domain. And um, if you have any questions on how to switch the name servers from uh, Bluehost to GoDaddy, that should be a quick call to GoDaddy or a qu quick call to Bluehost, and they can walk you through that. Um, it's very simple. And uh, then populate the, uh, you know, find a theme on Theme Forest or find another free WordPress theme for a blog. Um, if you want to save some money, just don't even 
pay for a theme for us. I just personally like to buy a little nicer theme and then populate that out with a bunch of content. And uh, you're ready to go for tomorrow to uh, set up your, uh, your ad campaign. And hopefully we'll get you guys uh, making some money uh, with uh, mortgage refis. And uh, that's it for today. Meet that out. We'll talk to you later. Thank you.